I hope you're all well. So today I wanted to go through JPEGs with you. Today we're going to go through JPEGs, tomorrow we're going to go through PNGs and then next week we're going to look at SVGs. If this all sounds like gobbledygook, don't worry. These are all different types of image files. I'm going to explain each of them to you when we come to them and I'm also going to show you how you bring them into Design Space. JPEG, PNG and SVG are the three big types of image files that you will come across when using your Cricut and especially bringing them into Design Space. I'm currently in Design Bundles, it's one of my favourite sites to go to and they have so, so many different design files. Quite a lot of them are in SVG or PNG and you'll find there's a few in JPEG as well. You'll find you'll be using JPEG if you are using pictures of something. So if you've got a picture of something or you've grabbed a picture from somewhere, most likely it will be a JPEG file. A JPEG is a photo. It is a single layered solid image. So this graphic bundle here comes in JPEG, PNG, EPS, which we won't be looking at, but the JPEG and the PNG are two of the ones that we can use. We are going to download it in JPEG today. So I'm just going to go and add it to my account. And it says download now. As with all image files that you get from the web, you will need to download them onto your computer. And I always make sure that I am saving them. And I always like to go straight to open folder. I then open up the folder. And you always want to open up the graphic side of the folder. And quite often you'll see the different file types in their own folders. So this has got a JPEG folder and a PNG folder. Today we're going to open up the JPEG folder. I then like to move them all across to my pictures. It means I can find them easily. And I also have JPEG folders, PNG folders and SVG folders. I just highlight them all at once and move them across and then put them into the appropriate folder. Once this is done, we can then go into Design Space. We're in Design Space and you can see down the side here we have an Upload button. So we're just going to click on that and you'll see it says Upload Image. Images can be JPEG, GIF, PNG, BMP, SVG or DXF. As I say, the main files you're going to be working with are JPEG, PNG and SVG. Click on Upload Image. Browse your files. Click the one you want to bring in. Let's go for, let's go for this one. And press open. This is where the differences between JPEG, PNG and SVG come in. So as I was saying, JPEG is a flat single layer file. So you can see it's come in, we've got a white background and then we've got our black lines. If we were going to cut, it'd be our black lines that are cutting. If we're going to draw, it will be these black lines that are being drawn. You have three choices as to how you would like to save your image type. Simple, moderately complex or complex. If we click on simple, you'll see that the lines become a little bit fuzzy and a little bit hazy. If we then go to moderately complex, they do become slightly sharper. If we then go to complex, you'll see they become super sharp. So I always, always choose to save as a complex image. We can then go to continue. You can zoom in and out. In this case, we want to zoom out. And we need to remove the white background. With a JPEG image, you always need to remove the white background. If we go to continue as it is, You'll see if we have it as a print and cut, yes, it will print out the black lines, but it will actually cut out just the square. If we want it as a cut image, there's nothing for it to cut. It's just a square because the image is actually a square. We need to go back and we need to start removing the white areas. 
There's a few ways that you can do this. We have select and erase. So if I just click, it's going to erase all those white pieces immediately for us. Sometimes you may bring a JPEG image in and the quality is not brilliant. You can find doing this is a little bit on the tricky side, but if you're getting your JPEGs from a reputable site, such as Design Bundles, it will be nice and easy to do. There's also the eraser tool, so you can come in and manually erase it. For the most part, I like to just do select and erase. I want to leave it like this because I want to show you what it looks like. So again, we're going to go to continue. So now you can see that as a print and cut, it will cut out the outline for us and it will come in and cut out the bits we've removed. Any white areas that still remain will not be cut out. The same as with the cut image. It can only cut what we have revealed. So we need to then go back and reveal the whole image. So I'm just going to go through and select and erase all of these white areas, everything that I don't want, so that I can cut this the way it should be cut or draw it the way it should be drawn. I'm just going to select and erase, nice and easy to do. If you need to zoom in, you can, and it'll just give you a closer look as to what you're actually removing. Once you've completely revealed the design, you can then go to continue. You then have a choice. If you want to save as a print and cut, you can. If you want to save as a cut, you can. Now you can change these later on. You can change a print and cut to a cut or a cut to a print and cut. If I intend to use it as a cut image, then I will always save it as a cut image. You can also change the name and you can add a tag as well. So if you have got lots of files that have got different names, if you tag them all and you put that tag in the search, you'll then be able to find them easily. We then want to save the image. Once it's saved, it will take you back to the upload screen. You can then see the images uploaded to Design Space. We can select it and we can then install image to the canvas. Once our image is in the canvas, we can then do what we want to do to it. We can make it larger, smaller, we can turn it into a drawer, we could turn it into a print and cut. If we want to remove pieces, we can use our contour tool. There's a lot that you can do with JPEG images and I will be showing you this in the coming weeks. As always, I hope this tutorial was useful to you. Please do subscribe and please do hit that notification bell to be alerted of when I upload a new video. Please do come back for tomorrow's video which is all about how you install PNG images into Design Space. Bye!